to preschool. Have you been having lots of fun at home? All right, let's go ahead and get started. Echo, play hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? From your library, loud. starting you now on Amazon Music. When you stand up and tell me your name, I want you to tell me what did you have for breakfast today? So let me show you how it's done. My name is Miss Alicia and I had cereal for breakfast. All right, your turn. Can you stand up, tell me your name and tell me what did you eat for breakfast today? Awesome. Okay, who can remember what we started talking about in our last video? What did you do for your craft and art and for some of the centers you did at home? Do you remember? We're talking about pets. That means the animals we have at our house. And we are going to keep talking about pets. So I'm excited. We're going to do we're gonna do our calendar a little bit different than we did on Monday. Um, we're not gonna take as long doing our actual calendar because we're gonna work on a few other things too during our circle time. And then we're going to talk about this pet today. Do you know what it is? All right. So we are not gonna do our songs for calendar. We are just going to, um, oh, see, I already forgot. We need to do our flag. London, will you come be my flag helper, please? Okay. Okay, please stand up. Please stand up. All right, we stand up. We take our right arm, that's this one. Wave it in the air, but don't leave it there. It goes on your heart. All right, here we go. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All right, and then we blast off to sit down. Good job. All right, we are not going to sing our calendar, but we are just going to say it together. Are you ready? Remember our days of the week. Always go in the same order. We can't mix it up. It doesn't jump around. Let's say it together. Here we go. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good job. So far this week, frowny face, because we have to say goodbye. We've said goodbye Sunday. Goodbye Monday. Goodbye Tuesday. But that's it. If yesterday was Tuesday, today is Wednesday. Let's clap it out. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday! Awesome! Now looking over here at our months, this one's missing because it has jumped to the top of our calendar. It's March. So normally we would get to point with our booty, but we're not doing our song today, so we are just going to say it. And remember, just like our days of the week always go in the same order, our months of the year always go in the same order. So let's start at the top. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Great job. All right, we're going to jump over here. Today we are only going to count by tens, okay? I want to see if you can do it without my help. First, we're going to do it together, and then I want you to do it by yourself. Are you ready? Let's do it together first. Ten. 20, 30, 
40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, your turn, are you ready? Did you do it? I hope you did. I know you can do it by yourself. All right, we have a brand new color. And our color, can you see? It's a little bit tricky to see through the camera. Can you tell what color this is? I'll give you a clue. It's the same color as this. It's just a different shade. And it's the same color as this. What color is it? That's right, it's green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count and you have 10 seconds to find something in your house that's green and point to it. On your mark, get set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you find something green? I found our frog. Our frog is green. Good job. We also have a brand new shape. And do you know what shape this is? Let me give you a clue. It's not a circle. It's not a circle. It has been stretched just a little bit. What shape is this? Kind of looks like an egg or an Easter egg. That's right. It's an oval. Can you say oval? Oval. Very good. All right. Our number. I got to take it off our calendar. We are still on this number. We have the number one followed by the number eight. What does that make? 18, good, one followed by eight is 18. What happens if I put the eight first? Is that still 18? No, then it turns into 81. For 18, we have to have our one first, followed by our eight. All right, and we have been working on this word, I-N. Hmm, let's sound it out, I-N, in. Very good, in. And we're gonna work on that a little bit later today too. But I want to take just a second and review some of the words on our word wall because it's been a while. Can you see these, London? Okay. All right, so you can say them with me or you can just listen if you can't remember what they are, okay? So remember, it says word wall up here at the top, okay? All right. I, A, the, and, it, is, at, this one is tricky, remember, L-O-V-E, love. I should be doing our hand signs. That might help you guys remember more. Am, my, me, you. Remember Y-O-U-U. -U. That was a tricky one. That was the last one we learned before we went on break. Next time we do it, we'll have to do it with our hand signs so that we can remember, okay? All right, let's put our word wall back. And can you remember what animal I said we're gonna talk about today? Do you remember what animal? Okay, we are going to talk about cats. Would a cat be a good pet? Yes, it would. That would definitely be a good pet. What about a tiger? Is a tiger a pet? No, you couldn't have a tiger in your house. What about an elephant? No. What about a lizard? Could you have a lizard as a pet? You could. Some people have lizards. We also see lizards outside too. We have lots of different pets today. We're talking about cats. All right. Can you see my book if I sit right here, London? All right. A lot of cats. Anna wants a cat. She goes to a shelter. Look at all the cats. Anna asks about each cat. Then she sees Max. Meow. Can you make it sound like a cat? Let me hear it. Meow. Good job. She 
brings him home. Lots of people have a cat. Tyler holds his kitten. He pets her and she purrs. Ooh. Some people can make the sound that a cat makes when it purrs, but I can't do that. I think it's tricky because I can't roll my R's. Can you do it? Can you sound like a cat when they purr? I can't do it. That's okay. That's a cute little kitty. Can you see that kitty? Abby feeds Milo. She gives him food and she fills his water dish. Emma cleans the litter box. She scoops the poop every day. That silly, it said scoops the poop. Yep, we have to pick up the kitty's poop too. This is a litter box, just in case you don't know what's telling you. So when cats need to go potty, they'll go inside a box that is filled with kitty litter. It's like a special kind of sand and they'll go to the bathroom in there and then it's not super gross and it's easy to clean because it's in one spot. <gasps> Lucas gives Zoe a collar and tag. The tag has his phone number. You see, that looks like kind of a big collar and tag for a little kitten. Maybe when it grows, it will fit it better. <laughs> if Zoe gets lost, People will call him and then he can find his lost cat because the number is on the collar. <gasps> Woo! Gus takes Skye to the vet. The vet checks Skye. He gives her shots. Did you know that cats and dogs and bunnies, when they go to the vet, they have to get shots just like you to keep them healthy and strong? Yeah. If any of you have a dog or cat at home, have you ever been to the vet with them when they have to get a shot? All right. Oh, I like this picture because the kitty cat is hiding. Ted gives Beast a catnip mouse. This cat's name is Beast? Does it look like a beast? That's a silly name. It makes Beast go crazy. He likes his catnip toy. make fun pets. What do you think? Would a cat make a fun pet? I think so too. And these are things that a cat needs. So a cat needs a collar that holds a tag and that tells people where it lives or a phone number to call in case the cat gets lost. This right here is called a scratching post and cats have claws and they really like to claw things. And so mommies and daddies don't want them to claw the furniture like the couch or the drapes. And so if you give a cat a scratching post, it will scratch that instead of your couch. A cat also needs food and water. And that is the end. Great job. So today, I'm just gonna get just a little so that you can see. So today, you get to make a cat. And let me show you what we're gonna use. You should have all of these items in your bag I sent home for you. So you should have a paper plate. You should have a strip of paper. And you should have two googly eyes, okay? You are also going to need a few things that I didn't send home for you. So you're going to need a pair of scissors. Make sure you ask your mom, don't just get them out. You're going to need crayons or markers and you're going to need glue or tape or a stapler or something to hold it on, okay? So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make it and then I want you to make it at home, okay? Here is my example. It's a little bit smaller, but so you can see what we're gonna make, okay? So the first thing you need to do is you need to get your plate and I colored on this side of the plate but you could color on this side, it doesn't matter, you choose. And the first thing you need to do is you need to color your cat. So I decided that this cat would be a rainbow cat. So I made it lots of colors, but you don't have to make yours a rainbow cat. You can make it just brown or just black or just pink, any color you want. So you're gonna color your whole paper plate, okay? You're gonna color it. Then we're going to glue the eyes on. Okay, you can glue, you can tape, you might need to ask your mom to help you, okay? You're gonna glue the eyes on. Then you're gonna make a nose and a mouth. And the easiest way to make a nose for your cat is to draw a triangle. 
So I don't know if you can see, let me get up really close here on my example. Can you see that, London? All right, so if you see, the nose right here should be a triangle. And then to make the mouth, you're just gonna make two smiley faces coming out of your triangle, okay? Awesome. Don't forget to write your name on the back of your plate, okay? So we should have our plate colored. We should have our eyes taped or glued on. We should have drawn a nose, which is a triangle, and a mouth, which looks like two smiley faces or a W. And now you need to make some ears. So what you're going to do is you're gonna take this strip of paper, and who can remember what shape we made the nose? A triangle, that's right. I need you to cut two triangles. Do you remember what a triangle looks like? A triangle has three sides. So you don't even need to cut if you wanted. I would probably color on this side that only has one line. You don't even need to cut the bottom. You could just have this be your bottom cut. And you're gonna cut here diagonal and here diagonal so that you get two triangles. Do you see my triangles here? And then you can tape them or you can glue them, or we used staples on this one just because we did not want it to come off, okay? And then you will have a big cat, all right? If you want to, you could ask your mommy or daddy to take a picture when you're done with your cat, and you can send it to me because I would love to see what your kitty cat looks like. And I'll be back to read you a book in a little bit, okay? Bye!